Hello guys, here's Soma, Coin Task Manager from Coin Network. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create a task really quick and easy. So let's start from our Coin Docs. You can go to docs.coin.network and let's jump to developer page. Firstly, we need to install the Coin CLI. You can follow the tutorial, select your OS system. In my case, I'm using Windows, so I use this part. Open your terminal, copy the command. Follow the tutorial. Because I already installed this Koi CLI, so it's very quick and easy. You can use Koi dash version to check if your Koi CLI installed successfully. Next, you need a Koi wallet. You can go to next step, create a Koi wallet. We will need this Koi wallet to create our task. So if you're not sure you already have a wallet, you can use Koi address. If this shows your wallet address, which means you already have a wallet in your computer, if not, it will have the command shows you can use Koi KGen, this command to create a new one. Okay, everything set up. Next, let's go to task development guide. If you are first here and not really familiar with the task structure, I highly suggest you to read the task development guide and get it started first. This guide will introduce you how the task runs with the runtime flow, which also have explained uh, which part is more important, why we need like the task, audit, and distribution part. If you're kind of familiar with how task running, we can go to task structure. We'll need the, to clone the gate template repo to start our first task. So I will copy this command. It will clone the task template repo and the name is hello world. Press enter, cd hello world. This is gonna be our first task repo. Open your VS Code or any code editor you'd like. You will see there have some folders and some files like CoreLogic, index.js. The only three files we will need is in the task folder, audit.js, distribution.js, and submission.js which is a three important part in Koi task. Let's start from the submission.js. This one contains the main job of your task and how, uh, and how you determine the submission value is. So the first one, the task function, this one will contain your main job. In this case, our task template, their main job is just print the hello world class value, hello world, and store the value in the local DB. That's it. That's your task main job, really easy. And then in the next round, the task node will call the submission round, which means it will call the submit task. This function should return your submission value, which means in your main job, you print the hello world and our submission value is hello world. So in this job, fetch submission, get the local TP's value, which is hello world, and use namespace wrapper, which contains our task node API, and upload the submission. Then in the task explorer, you can see your wallet address, submit a value, which is hello world. One note here, we highly suggest user use the 
type of string as their summation value, which is much easier for the future audit and distribution. And congratulations, you have done the first part, the main job and submission. The next part is audit. This part, this part is the most important part in the COI task, which means the nodes need to audit each other's node submission and make sure the submission looks great. If the submission value is wrong or not great, you need to vote other nodes false. And if other nodes submission value looks looks good, give it a thumb up and the nodes will get the, value, get the reward. So let's take care of this one. In this task template, our submission, our submission value is hello world. So in the, our audit part, we need to check if other nodes submission value is hello world. If other submission value is hello world, the vote is true. And other nodes can get a reward. If not, vote false. All the audit record all the audit result will submit into our task node and in the next round it will ha in our distribution round one node will be selected to generate a distribution list which contains uh, like which node is voted true or which node is voted false and generate a distribution list which contain uh, like this node can earn how much reward or uh, which node submission value is wrong, their stake might be slashed. In most of the case, you do not need to edit this file too much. Just in case, you maybe want to change the rule of slash uh, of the stake slashed, like at here, line 79. If the submission if the submission value is wrong, like it's not hello world in this case, their stake amount will slash 0 0.7 times 0 0.7. If the value looks good to you and they should get the reward, you can count the reward equals to how much you like. The reward rule can be very like you can uh, you can control the value is split by the uh, reward per round or uh, the reward is 1 or 10, anything you like. After you finish these functions, you need to go to the config-test YML file, which is your task config or you can say ta your task metadata. You need to edit your task name, your name, your the author, the task description, your repo, and the image you like. You also need to edit your runtime, which like how much is around. Like uh, for now, uh, the 1,050, uh, sorry, 1,500 runtime is around 11 minutes, so you can calculate this time and control how much is, how long is your task in one round. Minimum stake amount, total body amount, body amount per round, something like that. If you need some coi to create your first task, please. Uh, tag me or ask your questions in Hackathon channel. We are here to help. After everything is ready, let's use the create task CLI. Back to our docs. Install the create task CLI. This one. Uh, yeah. You need to <laughs> install the package first. Let's use npm, npm install. You can also use yarn, whatever you like.
install the package. After you install the package, before you deploy your task, please run npm run webpack. It will pack your task file in the dist folder and the min.js file, which is related to this one. And this is your uh, task running file on our coin node. And then we can use create task CLI. Download the latest version. After you first install the create task CLI, next time if you want to run it, it don't need to download it again. It will directly show the options. We can use create new task. If you already have a task, you can select update existing task. It will calculate your uh, rental fees of deployed task. For now, we have zero coin to pay. You need a Sphere key. If you already have your coin node, you can find your Sphere key at your task item. If you want to get another Sphere key, you can go to our FAQ page. Go to Uh, if you cannot find your Sphere key, you can just search Sphere, Sphere tutorial, Sphere inf inf infrastructure, anywhere. It will explain sometimes in your task you might need your Sphere, and if you want to use your Sphere key, you can copy paste your task config. Just a little tip. We can go to here. If you need a, another Sphere key, you can follow this tutorial and click here. You will jump to Sphere docs, and you can follow this tutorial to get your own uh, to get your another Sphere key. After you paste your Sphere API key here, it will calculate how much coin you need to deploy the task. And then you hit enter. It will return you a coin task ta coin task ID, and you can use this task ID in our coin node advanced option to test it. Um, let's see. Let me open my coin node. In the add task, you can find there's advanced option. You can copy paste your task ID here and use our coin node to test your task or send your private task uh, in the hack zone. We can also help to test it. But please be remember if you wanna your task be whitelisted, you need to public your uh, code repo and send your repo in the hack zone or send to us. We will help to review your code. If, if everything looks good to us and our developers think that's a very great idea, we will whitelist your task. And then your task can be run by every user using the coin node. And that's a guide for creating new coin task. Um, I hope this video is really helpful for you. If you still have any further questions, feel free to ask or leave your message in the Discord Hackathon channel. And thank you guys for your joining and enjoy coding.